just making up the last terminal. It's the last chance to see this 400mm cable before I get the, uh, the last of the tags on it. It's all coming together good. Yeah, it looks a bit silly now, doesn't it, compared to that uh, welding cable. Just this last one to get on. They're quite tight actually stick something across it. Right, let's stick a little bit of uh, tubing across it. Can't get a good connection. So we've only got a couple of bolts. We're getting a good connection. I'll crank that barrier up a tiny bit more. See, that's much more sensible. I lowered the voltage and trebled the amps. screwdriver what goes around corners now. I think we'll need to stick that a bit more meaty on it. Feel that magnetic field in there. I can't register the uh, current, unfortunately. But it's warm. left it on there. Would have put that up, wouldn't it? I could have made that whole bar glow. Shit. I think I'm gonna need a bigger bus bar. These uh, cables are a lot thicker than that bar. This bar gets quite hot.
Nothing's even warm. This transformer must be like, I don't know, 50, 75 kVA. Because nothing's even getting slightly warm on it. Well, I thought I'd better explain what I've done. Um, for those uh, interested in it, and if there's electricians uh, watching this, even you guys probably think, fucking hell. But, standard transformer. Still don't know what the uh, KVA rating is, but I reckon about 50 KVA. We've got 120 volt winding, another 120 volt. Both of those are in series, so it runs on 240. And each one of these uh, 400 mil cables goes around in a figure eight. And then there's three of those all in parallel. So you've got one output there and one the other side. Voltage um, on short circuit current is probably about half a volt um, and obviously offload probably four volts so if you take half a volt and we've got probably 15 kVA uh, then uh, 30,000 amps isn't unreasonable but if we can put 100 or possibly 200 amps into this transformer then uh, there's no reason why we can't have 50,000 amps or more, but these uh, bus bars, they are still quite hot, and the reason is these cables are a lot thicker than that bus bar. Give you a close up on uh, a bit of that. Right, don't know if I'll get on this. Um, that's the copper bus bar I'm using, the area of it, and that's the cable. So you can see that that cable obviously uh, can handle a lot more than this bus bar. So I think I'm going to need some bigger bus bar if I want some serious amps. Probably 3 inch by 1 inch solid bar to handle that sort of output. But that's it. I think we're done with the high current transformer now. Uh, it's not too bad. Probably pulls about... 40, 50 amps off the mains at the moment um, which isn't too unreasonable but the other day I wound it up with uh, much too much voltage on the secondaries probably had about 8 turns or possibly had 16 volts and the KVA on it was stupid but now we've only got uh, half a volt times 3 we've got stupid amps and not much volt so you could actually touch those outputs and uh, we wouldn't even feel it really well as usual thanks for watching and uh, there's going to be a few uh, updates soon waffly ones because um, I've got lots to talk about lots happening catch up soon